If I am starving, I can tell my son to plant tomatoes, so I have something to eat, even if he is an engineer. Sounds like an extreme example, but that's basically how the Defense Production Act works. Stay tuned, explanations are just a few seconds away. Before that, give this video a thumbs up, so YouTube shows this to other people and make sure to subscribe. So President Donald Trump has invoked the Defense Production Act to require General Motors to manufacture ventilators needed by hospitals due to the spread of this new illness. This is basically a law that could speed up production of these items. The law was enacted under President Harry Truman in 1950 to help the US with the Korean War. This granted broad authority to intervene in private industry by demanding that manufacturers prioritize defense production. But it covers not only national defense, it can also be invoked for products related to infrastructure, homeland security, stockpiling, and space. Truman used the DPA to cap wages and impose price controls on the steel industry. But why is this so important now? Governors warned that there is a shortage of ventilators and protective equipment used by medical staff. President Trump formally invoked the law to put the priority on health and medical resources to respond to the spread of this new illness. But on March 22, the president said action under the law was not needed because companies, including 3M and General Electric voluntarily wanted to produce needed equipment. Why did he change his mind? Well, the Defense Production Act is a powerful law to invoke. In addition to prioritize orders, the government can also create incentives for manufacturers, such as providing them with direct loans or loan guarantees for them. This is extremely important, because the costs of production can be high. Also imagine there were 10 million ventilators produced, and the illness stops spreading and the company remains with them in their garage. First of all loans can be made easily, which means production can start faster and the government can guarantee, that it will buy every piece of item produced by the company. That is, the US can guarantee that it will buy any excess ventilators a company makes in the next six months that hospitals don't use or purchase. Congress also has to authorize loans and loan guarantees that cost more than $50 million.